Hey guys, Nishquick here, and welcome back to another episode of Nishquick Talks. Today, I want to talk about something that me and a few of my friends have talked about on the EXP podcast in our latest episode, um, and that is the possibility of a remake of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. I can't believe I'm saying this. A remake of Ocarina of Time, and I've... Let's see, this channel has been around since 2021, I think. Almost every year of this channel, I kind of make a video of what this game means to me. Especially, like, I remember 2022 and 2023, last year and the year before, I made very prominent Ocarina of Time videos. And this is going to be one of those, but also kind of like a... Hey... If this remake happens, here's like how I feel about it before it's announced and like what I want in this remake, sort of. It's just me kind of throwing my ideas out there because the, a lot of you guys know I have a list of at least like, I have this list on backlog, it's like my top 75 games of all time, let's see, but regardless of however many like games are in that list the number one video game on that list which takes the number one spot is ocarina of time 3d yeah not even the original well it's i basically thought i would just put the 3d version instead of the original it's a game i played many times it's a game i know inside and out i know so much about this game i know all the ins and outs a lot of the secrets a lot of the trivia the whole soundtrack, everything. I love it so much because it basically changed my life. It changed the way I look at video games, music, storytelling, media. When I played it as a young kid, it just changed the way I look at everything. Like, a lot of people have that kind of video game awakening with games like Ocarina of Time, Mario 64, the original Mario Bros, Final Fantasy VII, a lot of these old classic games, Chrono Trigger, Final Fantasy VI, a lot of these games have that kind of awakening where you're like, hey, this is why video games are so amazing. Well, here's why video games are so like renowned and so good. And people are having that with modern games nowadays as well, like Persona 5, Breath of the Wild. A lot of these games are getting people to be like, hey, video games are more than just like pixels on a screen. That was, for me, it was Ocarina of Time. That's why it is my number one ga favorite game. And the reason I made this video that kind of prompted to me to make this is I feel old. And the reason I feel old is because um, I saw this th tweet on Twitter where it was like, this time gap between the original Ocarina of Time and Ocarina of Time 3D is around the same as the gap in time between Ocarina of Time 3D and now. And that freaks me out because I'm like, wow, I am old. And second of all, that means like the way I saw Ocarina of Time when the 3DS version came out was like, oh, retro. It's like a old kind of like classic gem. And that's what the 3DS version is like now. It's like this old retro classic gem. What does that make the original? It makes it like a archaic museum piece. <laughs> so do we need a remake? I guess there's so many games getting remakes now. Final Fantasy VII, Persona 3, those are the big ones coming out soon. Um, in the Zelda series, we've had Link's Awakening get a remake, which was like the one game that's gotten like a full facelift from like top to bottom remade of course like everything else is just like a hd upscale or like a remaster like the 3ds games are remasters twilight princess wind waker hd were remasters and what other like remakes are happening star ocean was a pretty big remake um and of course the resident evil games are getting pretty substantial remakes as well so for people who have not played the original Ocarina of Time, this could be a way to do it with this rumored remake. And I talked about how this is kind of like 
a rumor that is kind of sprouted out and kind of created by the fans. It's kind of like fans are willing this into existence, sort of like what Final Fantasy VII and Persona 3 fans did. We want this remake, so Nintendo, give it to us. But I also am worried. That's my biggest thing with this remake. It's my favorite game of all time. I... If I still, like, play the original to this day, if I play the 3DS version or the original, I can pick it up and play it and enjoy it because that's just my attachment to it. But I feel like it is one of those rare old retro games that has aged so well. I don't know about you guys, but I think it's aged very, very well. And that worries me. If a remake comes and they do an entire facelift, they change everything. They change gameplay. They change some story stuff. They change some music stuff. They change the art style. They do all these changes. Will it retain that identity of the original Ocarina of Time? Will it feel the same? Will it have that charm? Because Ocarina of Time has this timeless charm to it. And like everyone says, Ocarina of Time, timeless game, very, very timeless. Will it retain that charm, that timeless energy? That's what scares me. Because I've seen a lot of this on Twitter, especially with um, Persona 3. And on YouTube, a lot of Persona content creators are looking at this game with a giant magnifying glass. And they're like, they've changed this and this and this and this and this and this. As a newcomer to Persona 3, I don't mind any of that because I'm like, oh, I'm going into this as a newcomer. It's like going to be all good and stuff. As a veteran for Ocarina of Time, it is a little, like, I'm, I'm a little on edge because, like, the music, I don't want them to overhaul the music so much that it reta that it loses that nostalgic feel. I don't want them to change the writing so much that it changes the story. I don't want them to add new elements to the game that would, like, make it not feel like the original game. Well, a lot of people are saying Ocarina of Time with Breath of the Wild kind of like mixed together. I also don't want that either. I mean, of course, I do want seamless exploration. I think that would be cool. I do want some elements from Breath of the Wild, but I don't want it to be like Ocarina of Time in an open world with Ultra Hand and Fuse and the Sheikah Slate and all that. I wanted to retain that level of exploration, but I want it to be, like, still a tightly knit Hyrule. I want still that same Hyrule field, the same places you go, Gerudo Valley, Lake Hylia, Zora's River, Death Mountain, Kakariko Village. Maybe they expand them a bit. Maybe they expand them a bit so they're a little more explorable, a little more, like, unique in how they look. And I think um, the biggest, like, thing that I'm worried about is the story. Because the story is very, like, iconic, very unique, very, like, it's just a very simple story, but it's done very well. I have seen a lot of people say, like, oh, what if they add new dungeons, or if they add new scenarios and side quests and all that. I would welcome a lot of that, but, like... I don't want it to throw off what we already have, you know? I think expanding on some characters would be cool. Expanding on characters like Sheik, maybe Malin, and maybe some of the residents of Kakariko Village. That would be really cool, but I want them to tread lightly and not like just overhaul it way too much. And the thing is, uh, you might also be saying, like, hey, you're, you're being way too cautious with this. Like, let, let them have fun. Let them do what they want. Let them cook, you know, as they say, let them cook. I think with this remake, um, I just hope Nintendo understands the gravity of what they're going to do. Ocarina of Time is still one of the highest rated video games of all time. It still is on Metacritic, but it's funny because the sample size is very low but it's still 99 on Metacritic. It is 
universally highly acclaimed 10 out of 10s, 100 out of 100s, 100 percents, 5 out of 5s, near universally. So to remake a game like this is a very tall order. At this point, like, I don't even know if it's coming because there's a lot of, like, evidence towards it, but it could be just, like, a whole coincidence, whatever, right? If I were to tell someone, hey, do you want to play this game? Are you interested in Ocarina of Time? I would honestly still tell them to play the original. I would say, hey, either emulate it, play it on Switch Online, play the 3DS version if you still can. 3DS version is still very good and it fixes up a lot of things. And I genuinely, seriously think this game has aged well in how it plays, in how it is. Of course, like, it, there's still some very outdated stuff that they can fix in a remake. But in terms of its design, in terms of its art style, in terms of its presentation, I don't think a lot of that has really aged so much that it's like outdated and hard to play, kind of like a Persona 3 for example. There aren't any mechanics that are very detrimental to your experience. Water Temple aside, but I will say 3DS version has fixed the Water Temple and most of its problems. So yeah, um, I'm nervous for this and that's mostly majority the fact that it is my number one favorite video game of all time and it's like I don't want you to like touch this masterpiece and if you do I am very scared what you're going to do with it because if you screw it up then like oh gosh that's gonna be so sad like that's almost what happened with Majora's Mask because I said like Ocarina of Time is number one Majora's Mask is number two the way they messed up some things in the 3DS remake really rubbed me the wrong way. So I'm a little upset about that, and I don't think they would do that with an Ocarina of Time remake. I think the biggest worry is that they would add too many unnecessary things and just Breath of the Wild it. I don't want it to be a Ocarina of Time meets Breath of the Wild, because they're two very different kinds of games. I don't want them to kind of mesh into one. Ocarina of Time is an open world, maybe, but don't make it like an open world like Breath of the Wilds is. Just open it up a bit, make it a little more explorable, a little more lived in, and just a little more modern. I think that'll be fine, but at the same time, like, I don't even know if this is happening. I'm not getting my hopes up, because another thing is, a lot of these rumors are piling up. Ocarina of Time rumor, Ocarina of Time remake, Ocarina of Time, is it happening? Are we getting it? Are we getting it? I feel like a lot of that isn't really spoiling the surprise, so to say, so to speak, but I feel like if they announce this in a Nintendo Direct, just out of nowhere, just like a surprise, that's gonna be like such an amazing surprise, and I don't want that surprise to be kind of like I wouldn't say ruined by these rumors and speculation, but I don't want to sit in a Nintendo Direct waiting for this game to be announced or waiting for this remake to be announced. And that's not to say that if it is announced, I'll be like, oh, there it is. Oh, it's the game we've been talking about. Oh, oh. I'll be very happy. It's going to be a very great reveal. I, I can still sort of imagine the reveal trailer in my head. I hope we aren't overhyping this, I'm, so I'm going to keep my expectations in check. One more thing I want to show you guys, give me one second. So it took me a while to find it, but I finally did. Um, I always like to show this off in videos in which I talk about Ocarina of Time. I didn't show it off last year, but I'm gonna show it off in this video. It is, um, this is one little memento that reminds me of how much this game means to me. And when I played it for the first time, I had like Nintendo Power magazines and stuff, and they had ads for Ocarina, so I got this and I <laughs> learned a few songs on it. Maybe if the remake is announced, maybe if it is real, maybe I might learn a few songs on this and play it before <laughs> that game comes out, but that's if it is real. Again, I don't want to overhype myself too much for something that may or may not even exist. And yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think 
of the game Ocarina of Time. It is a timeless classic. It is a game that means so much to me. And it's a game that I'm very nervous about if it gets a remake. Because, like, it is a very sacred game. It's a very sacred game to me and to Nintendo and to so many people. And I know a lot of people watching this video definitely, like, have a special place in their heart for this game. So are you, like, nervous like I am? Are you scared that they're going to change too much? Are you scared that they're going to, like, overhaul this game and make it like Breath of the Wild? Because I don't want that, and I want to hear what you guys think. Let me know in the comments below. This is Nishquick signing off of another episode of Nishquick Talks. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Go play some great games today, like The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time on Nintendo Switch Online and on the 3DS. My, my 3DS is all the way back there. I'll see you guys in the next one later. Hey guys, this is Nish Quick. Thank you so much for watching that video. And if you enjoyed it, check out these two videos on the left. And if you aren't subscribed, why not hit that subscribe button on the way out? I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day and see you later.